1957, a classic TV series hit the screens, bringing to life the masked hero we all secretly wished we could be. The Zorro series featured an iconic Hollywood actor whose charm and swashbuckling moves made him a favorite for many. Who was your top pick among the classic Hollywood actors in this timeless show? As you watch, brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions. Funny, shocking, and even heart-wrenching facts await you, so keep those eyes glued to the screen. There's more to this tale than just the heroics. It's a journey that leaves a lasting impact. Is there a particular scene or moment that has resonated with you over the years? We're curious to know your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this legendary series. Drop your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear what Zorro means to you. Now, don't keep us waiting. Share your tales of masked adventures and dashing heroes. And remember, there's more to come, so stay tuned for the next episode of Nostalgia. In 1957, the TV series Zorro debuted, introducing viewers to the adventures of a masked hero fighting for justice. Set in Spanish California during the 19th century, the show follows the exploits of a wealthy rancher's son who disguises himself as a masked outlaw, defending the oppressed against corrupt officials and other villains. Zorro, with his trademark black mask and sword, becomes a symbol of hope for the common people. The main characters include Zorro, the alter ego of the rancher's son, his loyal and witty servant Bernardo, who assists him in his escapades, and various adversaries such as the corrupt Captain Monasterio and the crafty Sergeant Garcia. The series gained widespread acclaim for its swashbuckling action, memorable characters, and gripping storyline. It became a cultural phenomenon, inspiring merchandise, spin-offs, and adaptations in various forms of media. Zaro's legacy continues to endure, captivating audiences of all ages with its timeless tale of heroism and justice. The 1957 TV series introduced viewers to the adventures of a masked hero fighting for justice. Set in Spanish California during the 19th century, the show follows the exploits of a wealthy rancher's son who disguises himself as a masked outlaw, defending the oppressed against corrupt officials and other villains. He becomes a symbol of hope for the common people. The main characters include the hero, his loyal and witty servant, who assists him in his escapades, and various adversaries such as the corrupt Captain Monasterio and the crafty Sergeant Garcia. The series gained widespread acclaim for its swashbuckling action, memorable characters, and gripping storyline. His influence extended beyond its original airing. It inspired other TV shows and movies, especially those featuring masked heroes and daring adventures. The concept of a charismatic protagonist fighting injustice while concealing their true identity became a popular trope in media following his success. Other similar shows from the era attempted to capture the essence of his appeal but often fell short in terms of character depth and storytelling. The adventures of the masked hero continue to captivate audiences today. His themes of justice, courage, and selflessness remain relevant and continue to inspire new generations of viewers. Since its debut in 1957, the TV series Zorro quickly became a favorite among viewers, drawing them into its exciting adventures set in Spanish California during the 19th century. The duo of Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon, reminiscent of Laurel and Hardy, became beloved by fans. Disney kept them for other projects even after the show ended, like Toby Tyler or Ten Weeks with a Circus and Babes in Toyland. Zorro's horse Tornado galloped through the streets of Los Angeles, while in Monterey, another horse named Phantom took the spotlight. Cesar Romero's recurring role in the final season earned him special recognition, making him the only guest star to receive star status in the intro. Even though the series ended, its influence spread far beyond its original airing, shaping subsequent TV shows and movies featuring masked heroes and daring adventures. Zorro continues to inspire with its timeless themes of justice, courage, and selflessness, solidifying its status as a classic in television entertainment. Henry Calvin, who played a role in the 1957 TV series, helped make it successful by singing a version of the theme song, which became very popular. Guy Williams, the actor who played the main character, had surprising similarities to the character he portrayed. He had Italian roots, which suggested that his family might have come from Catalonia, Spain, which made his character more interesting. Even though Disney and ABC had a two-year disagreement in court, Williams still got paid his full salary, showing how committed Disney was to the show. This mix of talent and dedication behind the scenes helped make the show very popular. 
Both the actors and the crew had a big impact on television history on and off the screen. In the beginning of the TV show, the name Zorro is said 12 times in the opening credits to highlight the hero's identity. It aired at the same time as other Disney shows like The Magical World of Disney and The Mickey Mouse Club. Disney Studios spent a lot of money on the show, but they also tried to save money without making the show look cheap. Directors often filmed parts of multiple episodes at the same time to use the same sets, which sometimes made it hard for actors to stay in character. Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon, who played supporting roles, were popular with fans because they reminded people of Laurel and Hardy. Disney kept them for other projects after the show ended. Cesar Romero, who appeared in the last season, was the only guest star to be recognized in the opening credits. Guy Williams, who played the main character, had a lot in common with his character, which made people more interested in his performance. Even though there was a disagreement between Disney and ABC, Williams still got paid his full salary, showing that Disney was committed to the show's success. The talented people who worked behind the scenes made the show popular and left a lasting impression on TV history. After its start in 1957, the TV series Zorro quickly became popular. It told thrilling stories set in Spanish California during the 1800s. The main character, a rich rancher's son, wears a mask to fight bad guys as a masked outlaw. He becomes a symbol of hope for people who are treated unfairly. He has a loyal helper who assists him in his adventures. They face enemies like the corrupt Captain Monasterio and the tricky Sergeant Garcia. Azaro's impact lasted long after it aired. It influenced other TV shows and movies with heroes who wear masks and go on daring adventures. The show's main ideas of fairness, bravery, and helping others still connect with audiences today. Notably, Henry Calvin's performance of the theme song helped make the show popular. Actor Guy Williams looked a lot like his character, which added depth to the role. Despite some issues between Disney and ABC, the cast and crew's hard work ensured the show stayed popular. Debuting in 1957, the TV series Zorro took viewers to Spanish California in the 1800s, where a rich rancher's son wore a mask to fight bad things. Played by Guy Williams, the main character became a symbol of hope for people who were treated badly, helped by his loyal friend Bernardo. They dealt with bad guys like Captain Monasterio and Sergeant Garcia. Even though the show ended, Zorro's influence stayed strong, inspiring other shows and movies about heroes with masks and exciting adventures. Interestingly, actor Henry Calvin's version of the theme song helped make the show popular. Also, Williams looked a lot like his character, which made the role feel real to people. Even though Disney and ABC didn't always agree, the cast and crew worked hard to make the show successful. But behind the scenes, there were problems. Some cast members didn't get along, which made things tense when the cameras weren't rolling. This added another layer of difficulty to making the show, showing the challenges of bringing the masked hero to life.